Welcome back to Daily Declutter in a Dash. We are quickly decluttering. Little by little so it's not overwhelming. I'm loving this. It's feeling so good to just see stuff start to leave without overwhelming me and feeling like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do in an hour or two hours. It's just like 10, 15 minutes each day. Get rid of stuff and eventually we will be decluttered. We will, I promise. Um, so I am back to my jewelry cabinet which is what I did most of last week. And now we have to do rings and then bracelets and watches. So I think I'm gonna do rings today, um, which is gonna be hard. I love me some rings. I probably say that about most things, but I really do. I love rings, but there are a couple I don't find myself reaching for, so it's time. Get your bags. Whatever you're decluttering today, comment below what you're decluttering. But you know, you might need a trash bag, a giveaway bag, a bag or a box to like bring to another room if you're decluttering stuff and it just needs to go find a new home. Um, so let's let's just get into it. Let's get into my rings. There they are in all their glory. I have my regular rings that I wear every day. First, um, they're not getting decluttered. Oops, there's my Infinity BFF ring on this finger and then my wedding band and my engagement ring. I soldered them together. And then this guy, I just usually wear, I stack it sometimes, and it's just like a little silver ring. Okay. Hi. All right, so this is first up. This I grabbed because I know I wanted to get rid of it, and I wanted to be like, yes, I'm getting rid of something in case, like, nothing comes after this. I just don't, I just don't reach for it. It's a costume jewelry heart, but I'm going to get rid of that. This is a mood ring. This is fun. I do think I'm going to keep this just because it's a fun little thing. Stuck it on there. I'm always blue, I swear. Do you guys have certain moods when you've done these in the past? You're always one color. Now, let me just grab some... I have a bunch of stackables. So here are my stackables. I'm going to keep these thicker ones, these with the pattern, for sure. I wear those a lot. I wear this one all the time, this middle silver one. And then these tinier ones, I'm going to get rid of two of these and keep this one. Because one's the same size and then this copper one I never wear. Okay, so this is my fake engagement ring. If I don't want to wear my real ring out, like when I'm on vacation and stuff, sometimes I do that. Or like going to the beach, I don't want to lose my ring. And then there's a stackable I'm definitely going to keep. And there's a cute little cross stackable that I love. So I'll be keeping all of those. I'm scared. I'm like, am I going to get rid of anything? Yes. Here, I can get rid of this one. There's another, I guess, another fake engagement ring. How many did I need? Um, I guess I'll pick one of the two of those. I didn't even realize I had two. Um, and then this blue ring, it's real sterling and it's aquamarine. I think it is. I love that stone. I am going to keep that. Now, these are Kendra Scott rings. So this ring right here was my first Kendra Scott piece last year and I got this gorgeous little beauty recently. This one's name is Cora like my daughter and I saw the ring and loved it and then I saw it's called Cora and it was on sale on their site because um, I think they were getting rid of them. So I got it cheap and it was so pretty. I love it. Keeping those. I really love this one. It's so pretty. Um, I wear that a lot with my rose gold. It's a rose gold, rose gold jewelry. I'm going to keep that. And then this, I think I got this sent to me by Stackable Sweets. I know it's by her. Um, check her out if you haven't. But I love this. She just started doing rings last year. And it is gorgeous and super, super affordable. This was like under 20 bucks. So pretty. And you can stack them. Um, they have all different colors. She Go to her, it's Stackable Sweet, and you can follow her on Instagram. I'll give her information below. Oh good, I can get rid of this one. I got this as like a fun ring. I just don't wear it. I wore it probably twice. It's got that pretty gold, gold shimmer in there that I love, but it just, it's not me. This I love, I got last year. That's a cool little trendy piece. Gonna keep that. You know Mama has to keep her pineapple. I love pineapples. They're very trendy, aren't they? I think I got this last year. I think it's Betsy Johnson. This one, I love, love, love. I, I really like big rings, which is funny because I have such tiny hands, but I just love a good statement ring, and that's like 
real, a real stone, real sterling silver. I've had this since, I mean, probably 15 years ago. Love it. This one is costume jewelry, and I don't, I don't know where I got it, but I love green. Green is my favorite color, green and pink. I'm going to have to think about that one. I'm going to hold it on there. So I have a couple other greens here. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one. I think. Oh, I don't know. You guys can help me. Which one do you like better? Hmm. You guys vote. A or B? A or B? <laughs> we'll keep this. Um, neither one of them are real. They're both costume jewelry. This is sterling. Uh, I just, I don't wear this often at all. So, probably going to get rid of that one. Donate that. There it goes in the pile. This is my class ring. Gotta keep that for memory's sake. This is so pretty, and I actually just got earrings. Well, I may be getting earrings to match. It's Goldstone, I think it's called. So pretty! This is, ah, oh, this is a tough one. I think I have to keep it. I got this, they made it for me in Spain on the street out of a spoon and tiger's eye when I was in Spain. You know, traveling as I do. No, when I was younger I used to travel more, but, um, Maybe I should break it back out and start wearing it. kind of forgot about it, but it's got such a fun memory with it. And it's custom made for me. All right. It's time to go, Big Peacock. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know I could ever let go of this, but it's time. It's time. Uh, this is my only turquoise ring. I love that. Beautiful. Just simple turquoise goes with anything. Love it. And it's real silver. Or sterling silver. This an ex-boyfriend got me, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I think he got it like K Jewelers or something. I feel kind of weird keeping, but it ha like keeping it, but has no emotional tie left to it, you know. And I just think it's so pretty. What do you guys feel about that keeping stuff exes gave you? <laughs> My husband doesn't care, so that's good. Now this is gorgeous abalone, which. I have earrings that match that. Love that. My brother got that for me years ago. It's real. I think it's sterling. Yep, it's sterling. This is brass. And it's like antique looking, but it's like peacock feather. You see that? Isn't that so neat? Mm, love that. Love it. Yeah, I'm keeping a lot. I know. This one I've been wearing more and more because I started wearing opal stuff again from Kendra Scott, and it matches, and I love it. It's gold. And silver. I actually had this custom made for me when I was 22 or 23. I think I spent $200, which I'd never spent anything like that, but I saved up for it. They had a different one that was all silver in the case, and I said, can I get a gold and silver so it would match everything? Because if I was going to spend that money, I wanted to make sure I could wear it with all of my jewelry. And I just love it. Um, it was made in Israel, but the stone is from Australia. And it was at an art gallery where I used to live that they sold some jewelry. This one, I think it's time to go. I just never wear it. Yeah, sterling silver and garnet. I don't, you know, I don't know. Part of me wants to keep it. Maybe I'll keep it through next fall and winter and see if I wear it. I do tend to wear whatever colors in the appropriate seasons. I'll keep it for now. This one needs a major shine. This, I really love, I got, I th did I already declutter this in my other, I don't know. Um, but this I got at, when I was at a Dave Matthews concert, not at the concert, but in Boston. We were shot. we went shopping the day before or whatever and I got it. Will you shine back up for me? It's kind of dulled. But I'm keeping it for now. I'll see if I can shine it. This I'm going to get rid of. I just don't wear it a lot. This my husband got me. It's got my pink in it. Look, they're like little flowers carved out. Isn't that pretty? I think he got it in Vegas when he went for work. And then, of course, my Irish heritage. I'm half Irish, half Italian. Um, I am keeping... Hello. 
my clotter ring. That's from my grandmother. For sure keeping that. And this, oh yes. I love this so much. It's so gaudy, but it's so me. This is the inner me coming out. It's also little card flowers. And we got this on my honeymoon. My husband bought it for me in Italy. It's made of coral, and it's got jade, and they say that jade is good for your heart. I don't know. Some gypsies tell me stuff I believed because I wanted to. It was going to make our marriage last forever. That's all I know. Amen. So I just love it. It's pretty. So I got rid of a few. I do get sometimes like, oh, I wish I could get rid of like half of everything, but it's not always realistic, I guess. Uh, there, I can't. I can't let go of half that stuff. Maybe over time I'll get rid of more and more. Um, but right now I do switch my rings almost every day. I always have this on, but if I go out, I will always add and match my outfit. Um, like I said, I love rings. I love accessorizing. Some of these I've had for 10 plus years, so it is what it is. So don't beat yourself up, even though I am a little bit, um, you know, we're human, we have attachments. At least, I feel like at least we're doing this and we're making steps toward clearing out stuff. Um, you can't hold on to everything, but if I am regularly wearing most of these and then there's a few that I'm going to actually put on like this side, that's what you can do, a little tip. I'm going to put the ones that I haven't been wearing on that side and try to make an effort to wear them, remember that they exist after 10 years. Um, and if I don't wear them in the next six months to a year, I'll do another declutter at that point, and if I haven't worn them, I'll get rid of them. Yeah. Sound like a plan? Good. Thank you for following. Please hit the subscribe button, little red thing that says subscribe. And most importantly, the notification bell next to that subscribe because that will tell you every time mama's declutter and it's like, dang, she's at it again. She's going crazy. I didn't go that crazy today. It's Monday. Maybe that's why. Maybe Monday's kind of lazy about my decluttering. Um, so tomorrow, like I said, we will work on bracelets and watches. So again, comment below what you're doing. Thumbs up this video and let's keep on trucking till tomorrow. Deuces clutter. Why do I do such a weird voice? Can we just have a normal deuces clutter? That's better. Everyone now. One, two, three. Deuces clutter.